in statistics there are a lot of formulas and uh, this formula is one of them uh, the variance of the sample and in the denominator there's this expression n minus 1 and in, in almost no textbook uh, is explained uh, why is there n minus 1 and now I will prove why ma uh, it makes sense and, uh, and, and, and it is correct to say there's n minus 1 and here we, here we go we start with, uh, with this expression here and this equals and here comes uh, the first trick um, if you add something to an equation and you subtract something to the equation you do you do not change the equation and because we have a, a goal here we take this population mean that we add and subtract and we do it yeah we subtract it and we add it and minus the average of the sample so that's a, that's a, a step next step is we can we can make or we can put some parentheses parentheses um, here and have the following result here so the equation does not change and we have some advantage here so in this formula where we, we square this expression so let's do it here so we square this expression and on the other side 2 so we have here xi mu and mu squared if you square the, this expression the, the result is is as following xi minus mu parentheses xi minus mu parentheses plus xi minus mu parentheses mu minus x average plus mu minus the average parentheses times x m minus mu parentheses oh, and plus last one mu minus the average times mu minus the average so now we can regroup it so we do it as you can see here this expression is x minus mu squared so we have uh, both and we have two of uh, these x minus mu and x minus mu this is the same two times the same is plus 2 x minus mu mu minus average minus average and last but not least uh, uh, these both terms uh, we can write as mu minus average squared so what is the next step what do we have here we have a, a strange looking sign here the sum sign now we sum up all the things all the expressions so we do the sum sign 
on one side of the equation x minus x average squared is equal to and we sum up all these expressions and because uh, they are all distinct uh, expressions we can sum up uh, each term and uh, so, so we can write sum this up sum this up uh, a lot of writing a lot of writing a lot of writing and we can sum this up and now we see this expression here is a constant there is no xi in it so uh, this whole expression is a constant. If, and if you sum up a constant, means if you sum up uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3, uh, this is equal to 3 times 3. And if you here sum up to, as we, as we want to do it, to, to n, you sum it n times. So this expression uh, added to n times uh, leads to this is n times uh, this expression mu minus the average squared and here uh, this is uh, the, the uh, constant 2 is the same thing as here and uh, the 2 is a constant for itself so we can rewrite it uh, in, a, in the next step as sum of x minus mu squared this we take here uh, plus n times mu minus the average squared plus Two times this mu thing, two times mu minus average, and then sum up the x i's minus mu. Because two and this expression is a constant, you can factor out the, this whole expression and put it in front of the sum sign. And here we see we sum up. Uh, two, two things, and you can rewrite it as um, this one and two times mu x and times sum x i minus sum mu. And here again, you see mu is a constant, and if you sum up a constant and do it uh, n times, we have n times the constant, so this is here n times mu, and here if you sum up uh, all the xi's, what do you get? Uh, here a little another trick, or it's not a trick, how is the, the, the definition of the, of the average? Average is the sum of all the xi's divided by n. And if you put the n on the on the other side of the equation, you got n times the average is sum of all xi's. And here we have sum of all xi's, and we can replace this expression this the, with this expression. And yeah, we do it. So we have uh, another line, and plus uh, this, this stuff and 2 times mu minus x and n times minus n mu and we see you in the next video